YouTube, what's up? What's up? This is your boy DJ Troy in the building. I hope everybody is good. Hope everybody is chilling, man. Um, well, today um, I'm gonna be talking about a couple of things, and you know I'm gonna try to, you know, get through it in like you know five, five ten minutes um, if that's possible. Um, of course, the big thing is the debate that's going on that went on last night the debate between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and it was it was very impressive I'm not gonna lie to you it was a debate that really was able to bridge the gap between you know who you're gonna vote for and who you're not gonna vote for or rather make you decide who is important in this election and who isn't rather than make you decide like what exactly you're gonna do come November okay um, there was a lot of problems with you know how Donald Trump answered a lot of questions there was a little bit of scuffle by Hillary Clinton but I think overall Hillary Clinton won the debate okay I say this because when it came to the issues you know what I'm saying the issues about you know the economics okay um, how exactly we're going to get more jobs, how exactly we're going to be able to, you know, bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. I think Hillary Clinton was able to do a better job of, you know, handling that. Yeah, so there was a lot of things that Donald Trump said that um, didn't make a lot of sense, um, you know, he fumble around with a lot of questions and he you know it, it, it just it just didn't look too presidential and on the flip side of that he's the one that's usually saying that Hillary Clinton isn't presidential but overall Hillary Clinton won the debate um, like I stated earlier the plan that she laid out in order to you know bridge the gap between the rich and the poor and the income inequality okay is what really drew me into her okay I think that is the most critical thing because this income deficit this income gap between the rich and the poor man I'm telling you you have people that's making seventy thousand dollars a year and then the the next step to that is not somebody that's in two hundred thousand. It's like somebody that's making a, a a million dollars. It's like the gap is so widened, and it's like, what you know what, you know for for low income earners that includes myself. Okay, when you look at it, you go to a job, you're making you know average thirty something thousand, and that the man at the top is making. 10 million dollars a year you know what I'm saying or 1.5 million dollars a year or 5 million dollars a year it's like damn okay can that well trickle down a little bit so I think that is the you know that is the point that is the point that I think a lot of people are looking for okay who exactly could protect our you know protect our safety protect America's interest and at the same time to be able to to bridge the gap between income equality for the millennials like myself okay one of the biggest problems that we're looking at is who the hell is gonna be able to take our student loan debt off the table okay when you read stuff like you know some of these companies are hiding trillions of dollars okay overseas you know one of the biggest culprit out there that I read about is GE GE supposedly, whether this is true or not, have, you know, over whatever trillion or whatever hundred of millions of dollars overseas. And when you look at the estimated taxes that America is not getting paid because this money is being hidden overseas, you're like, damn. Okay, with a lot of these companies, um, if they should pay the full amount of taxes that, you know, income tax earners like me pay you're like they will be able to wipe out the debt of America the debt sorry okay and pay off all the student loans and you know 
make America have a better healthcare system, you know, because there's so much money being hidden overseas. All right. So this is the point. The point at the end of the day is that we are concerned about who's going to, you know, make us, you know, better earners, who's going to be able to protect the country and who is going to continue to make America great. Okay, even though that's Donald Trump's slogan, we want somebody that who's actually going to be able to do that. Okay, and I think that Hillary Clinton um, is the better choice for that. Um, if you disagree, make a video, you know, let me know.